Okay, yeah, I think I can start. So hello everyone, uh, I'm just going to present a very quick thing about my home network setup. Uh, it's on how I use uh, consumer routers for uh, home net ne my home network setup. So this is, so I had a network, uh, I had a, a server right in my, at my, I have a server right in my home. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so this is the back of it. So I have a, a, a One U DL360 Gen 7 and a mini PC that would do, uh, that has two Ethernet ports. I think that one was designed for like showing displays because it has two HDMI outs. So it's like meant to attach to the back of TVs and that kind of thing. And then I also have my uh, VLAN capable switch. This is a TP-Link SG-108E or something. So that one is VLAN capable in which that means I can uh, use VLAN tagging to have multiple uh, broadcast domains over the same uh, Ethernet uh, cable. So the way, so I had that, but then uh, I had one problem is in which it was, what, how do I connect this uh, server rack, which was in my room, all the way into the living room, which had the uh, modem. So I, so let's just start here, start again. So, so I had this, uh, so this was my intended topology. So my, in, the modem would connect to uh, somehow, in this case, I decided to go with this topology. I'll explain why later. But it will connect to the first switch and have an access point at the same place in which the modem is, is located, in a, around the same area. And it will connect then over one single Ethernet cable into my room, into my server rack, which also had the routing equipment, and also the servers. Uh, yeah, the, the, the server names are named after cacti. Okay, so one, one thing I have found very common was this DL, uh, trees, uh, DIR865L uh, route, consumer routers. That, uh, they are very common because they come with StarHub and come with StarHub plans uh, maybe a few years back or something. So when people upgrade the routers, they'll usually keep, throw this away or like sell it for very cheap. So I collected about two of these and other, and also other two more other routers, consumer routers of other models and brands. But I had two of these, so and I wanted to make use of them because, uh, yeah, I had them lying around. So I actually found, uh, normally they would don't do VLAN uh, VLAN capable networking. So what you can do is you can install uh, install OpenWRT, which has a a nice uh, GUI and everything. So open, open WRT is a fully open source firmware for uh, routers and it supports quite a lot of architectures. And so you can just flash it, you can mod modify it. It runs a very simple Linux operating system that uh, Intel also supports it, like the package manager is also used by the Intel, uh, I think the Intel Edison and Galileo and things like that in their Yocto Linux distribution, if I'm right. So this is a very nice route replacement router firmware. So I made use of that, I installed it, and one good one benefit it gives me over uh, other, other firmwares, uh, over the stock firmware, is that it gives me VLAN functionality which was very important, which I needed in order to do my topology over here. Because I had to have a single trunk on the right that goes from uh, the first switch to, from my modem all the way to the server rack, which was in yeah, the top and bottom half. So I took one of, the, took one of these, uh, two of these, I configured them with this, using this user interface, which is very similar to use. I really like how it's designed. And you can just select it in a grid. Even even my uh, TP-Link uh, TP -Link, uh, VLAN switch doesn't have such a nice UI. It's some weird clunky thing. I would press one button and then type the VLAN ID. This one has a nice UI with rows and an actual table. So you set, I set this up to, so now I have a access point in my, beside the, uh, the, the modem. It goes into this switch, and from that single white cable you see on the top right, it goes all the way into my room, and into this switch, which then breaks out into two uh, Ethernet 
uh, pure Ethernet ports. And from there, I can connect it into my router uh, box and also to the home network. So this gives me the resulting topology over here. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah. Why can't you just mix all broadcast and data into the same trunk? Why? Why? What's the definition <coughs> of VLAN? Uh, one, one, uh, VLAN? So what VLAN is, is that uh, it allows you to have uh, two separate broadcast domains. Why having a separate broadcast domain is important is because you need to, uh, me, me, you cannot mix the, maybe you have a different network that would have, that, that has a separate set of IP, uh, sub IP network. Uh, yeah, IP network. And Another one that you don't want both of them to mix, and therefore uh, uh, will will like conflict. Conflict, uh, yeah, in that way, and especially your the, all the protocols. So that's what most uh, enterprise networks do. Uh, they would an example of such a topology is routed on a stick. So in my case, why it's very appropriate is because I this single I when a uh, when network and a LAN network that I had to run over this trunk here. So in order to do that, I had to connect, I had to use uh, VLAN tagging to make this trunk be able to handle both separate networks separately so that yeah, my ISP won't see something weird is going on and like close the, close the uh, turn off the modem or something. Yeah. So AP LAN <coughs> is not visible or wants to be visible to the them. Yeah. So yes. So all the so the AP one here is just basically virtually effectively connected to this, right. even though it's like physically not. Yeah. yeah thanks. Thank you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I I play with like uh, KVM and Lightvert. Uh. I so I've uh, some occasionally I run VMs on it, uh, but most but currently I've been using uh, bare metal uh, Docker Compose to to run containers on my machines, and that would serve uh, many multiple sites on the single machine. But I I've uh, future hope to switch to Kubernetes on bare metal. Yeah. Uh, that one, I'm not very. I haven't, I haven't done anything on that place yet. Yeah. Because I, for me, all I need is just a Linux bridge, and then I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.